Now, earlier, I discovered that Edam's rind is made from paraffin wax, and its coating made it ship-shape for long journeys at sea. It's also waterproof. Which is perfect for when it's being transported on ships. Yeah. But there's another reason that Edam's got me really excited. Legend has it that in the 19th century, the spherical cheeses were used as emergency cannonballs. And this is an opportunity that's too good to miss. Hello, fella. Hello, how are you doing? Very good. So, are we all ready? We are, yeah. I've enlisted the help of explosives expert Mike Sampson to put this historical tale to the test. We've got our EDAM. Yep. We've got some black powder here. Black powder? Black powder. So it's gunpowder, old-fashioned gunpowder. The stuff that you use in cannons. Yeah, the stuff that you use in cannons. cannons. I use cannons. I don't use in cannons. <laughs> <laughs> That's ready to go. So we'll put that into our cannon tube. Right. We get the hell away yeah. and we'll fire it. Right, let's go. Right, off we go. OK, so a rudimentary cannon, 200 grams of gunpowder and three two-kilo balls of EDAM. What could possibly go wrong? Well, it looks sturdy. Yes. And have you managed to sort out the other target? Have you? If you come round the back. This looks perfect. <laughs> With Jimmy in my sights, we're ready for a very cheesy recreation of an obscure 19th century battle. Right. I'm quite excited now. <laughs> can I push the button? You can push the button, right. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> I can honestly say I've never seen cheese move so fast. One down, two to go. Ready? Oh! <laughs> We're definitely getting closer. Jimmy's proving quite tricky to bring down. So this is the one. You ready? Oh! <laughs> I went through it. <laughs> so there you go. The flavour may be mild, but Edam still packs a punch. Jeez. That's almost cartoon-like. That's quite a force, eh? It really is, yeah. Little grinning face. Yeah. Bits of cheese everywhere as well. Smoking. Nice. Solid old cheese, there, isn't it? Yeah. You gonna try it? No. <laughs> I mean, it's a little bit battle damaged, but that is almost like the perfect cannonball, isn't it? It really is. I really thought that was gonna fall apart. So realistically, that could go through a ship. It'll go straight through anything. So if you were, feet, yeah. if you found yourself on a ship with a cannon and a spare Edam, fire it. <laughs> <laughs> is that the official yeah, line? Is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>